my ghosts on this episode of demons row tv we talk about why certain white mcs do not allow black members in their club and we get into it on this episode of demons row tv and oh yeah we ghosting baby Ghosts, welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost, I'm your host for the evening, and today we're going to talk about the second part of the Racial Divide series. Last week we discussed the Spanish set, today we discussed the white set. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on twos doing what you do or just part of the demons row community one of my ghosts shout to all my new subscribers welcome to the row shout to everybody that's been supporting the demons row clothing them ghosting shirts been flying off the shelf they sold more than any other shirt i ever dropped so i really appreciate y'all for that in a week so that was real quick follow the sosta ghost page we're gonna drop a lot of content on there that sosta ghost youtube page and also follow me on instagram at demons row at sosta ghost underscore this week's certified ghost set goes out to los angeles california miss peachy alejandra jimenez one of my highest voted ghost stats you fellas went crazy over that got a lot of response for her 511 she got the apes the 18 inch apes she's been riding about a year so she's new to the game but she's killing it she got her own youtube channel so y'all go fuck with that show her support she's a chicana from la got the vikla tricked out you know how they do out there miss peachy you are a certified ghost stat this week's certified ghost goes out to my homie Cake North from the Forsaken MC Vets Club. He's a veteran. Listen, salute to everybody that serves, that fights for our freedoms that have died so that we can have the freedoms that we have. Big shout to you, brother. You are a certified ghost. So let's get into it. The topic of the day, racial divide. In 2020, we're still dealing with blacks not being allowed to be in certain white clubs. Why does this still exist to this day? And there's multiple theories to it. There's old school bylaws from a time where there was a lot of racial tension and you got to remember if you're you know in a club that started in the 50s and the 60s your bylaws are going to be way different than bylaws of a club that opened 10 years ago you know what i mean the racial issues were high at that time you got to remember people were getting plugged on a daily martin luther king malcolm x there was the kkk was on the rise at that time it was a very different time so people were very fractioned off in you know whatever race they are i'm not going to dispute the fact that they gotta be certain clubs that are straight up racist you know and there's a lot of closet racism where they'll wear the swat stickers they'll wear the bolts they'll wear whatever you know the ss stuff the nazi stuff everybody wasn't in a war everybody wasn't handed down a patch that was tucking off an actual nazi soldier's vest and sewed it onto their vest some people are trying to be cool and some people are straight up racist and if you are racist 
that's your prerogative that's your right to believe something it's unfair to say that a white person can't be proud of who they are like i'm proud to be a hispanic that doesn't like why is it that if i say i'm proud to be hispanic or proud to be black why does that not sound racist but if somebody says they're proud to be white that they're they're automatically a racist you know what i mean it's it's gotten to the point where if you believe in trump if you voted for trump if you you know feel trump is a good president you're racist and i came from an era where you just you know they they shoot off the hip you know what i mean so it's unfair for you to say that somebody that has pride in their culture or in their you know their ethnicity whatever you want to call it is racism now there are people that are straight up racist and i think that if you are racist you need to just keep it real like i like my own people i like to rock with my own people i don't like that other group but don't wear the shit on your cut you know don't wear your little you know your confederate flag or whatever and then be a sucker and say oh you know this this doesn't stand for racism this stands for you know the south and whatever but you're from like the midwest or the west coast or wherever you're from you know what i mean like clearly not from the south you know what i mean just keep it real for who you are why you wear it if you wear it for those reasons and just keep separate from any other race keep separate from the blacks you know you don't have to you know impose that on people and i don't feel that racism makes you tough like being tough is how you handle adversity it's not about looking a certain way acting a certain way appearing being the having the most muscles that that don't make you tough i've seen skinny dudes fold up diesel dudes every time i see a fight and it's a skinny dude versus a, a diesel dude i see the diesel dude get folded up very rarely do i even see it not end that way so you wearing you know a confederate flag or whatever it is if you're wearing it for the right reasons for pride then it's cool but your pride should not be downing other races you know what i mean like if somebody in my culture wears a puerto rican flag that's not putting any other race down you know what i mean it's not like i'm wearing some kind of battle flag where we burn the whole bunch of another kind of race or something like that and then just act like it's nothing you know what i mean just keep it real man that's all i'm saying don't be a sucker if you feel like you don't like a certain group or whatever just take your stance keep it separate you don't got to disrespect nobody but also we got to be fair to the people that want to just click up with their own type there's nothing wrong we're wanting to just rock with your own culture y'all eat similar food you like similar music you know i think a lot of it is that too like people think it's straight up racism but me being in a diverse club i i get to hang on both sides you know so i've been in both spots and i've never felt like you know i mean and listen some people tell me that it's unfair like for me to feel like that because i'm spanish so like you know when you're in the middle you can get in any club so being spanish is like you're not black enough to be black but you're not white enough to be white but you sort of still blend into both so you do kind of when you're spanish blend into both groups so you know some black people tell me like it's different if if they was to walk into a spot and you know and and that's fair you know what i mean i respect everybody's opinion everybody has a right to their opinion sooner or later we got to get to the point where we got to function together because i'm i'm telling you man the way this covid thing is going and the way they keep trying to distract us with with a-list celebrities with takashi with this one and that one and you and you got people you know with this um dressing their kids up like marilyn manson like we're literally in an era right now where dressing your kid like marilyn manson is accepted that's the world we live in right now it's sick it's sick you know and listen everybody has a right to their opinion but if you are cross-dressing your kid that is sick it is sick that is my point and i have the right to say it and i will say it you are a sick person if you dress your kid like marilyn manson now if that kid grows up and that kid was truthfully gay and wanted to be gay listen that's that's on that kid to make that decision but for you as a parent to put your kid in that come on man that's sickness so that's the that's the days and times that we live in and you know mc culture we don't deal with any of that type of shit like we keep it pure and old school when it comes to that type of stuff so people don't like that you know what i mean 
they have the right to have their own around them and to function with them it doesn't make you racist if you know like for me like i'm gonna go back to the spanish if, if, if i like eating you know spanish food and listen to spanish music and doing certain things i'm gonna function with certain type of brothers more so another thing that i feel that divides also is that i feel like the black set is more fun parties dancing women it's a lot more of that and i feel like you know like a lot of the white one percenters and 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 like traditional mcs it's more of a bar atmosphere it's more laid back it's more people you know it's not it's not 500 people in one big club partying or whatever you you know it's more old ladies and family oriented it's smaller you know what i mean and that's what's dope about being in a diverse club for me is like you get you can get the best of both worlds like if you want to party you could do that but then we also go to the you know the dominant one percent of spots and and have a good time with them in a different kind of way and it's always been all respect everywhere we went even if certain clubs don't allow blacks when it comes down to crunch time when it's go time and the government says you can't come outside anymore who's gonna stand together the mcs i feel i don't really see like i hear a lot of people talking about the three percent and i don't have much knowledge on it i don't have much knowledge let me know in the comments you know some knowledge on it maybe we'll get somebody on the show but at from my understanding the militias i don't see them standing tall right now i see everybody in the house i see the mcs is out though i see the mcs been out the whole time i know there's a lot that will always feel away because you know if you're black and maybe you want to get into a one percent club you know one of the one of the bigger clubs that doesn't allow you know blacks in it how do you feel does that make you feel away me personally like i wouldn't care like i wouldn't want to get down with anybody that doesn't want me and i would just get with my own you know what i mean like that's the way y'all want to move i do my own thing you know but at the same time that doesn't mean you have to respect it you know you could you know you have your opinion they have their opinion but you know what like i said when it's go time we need to be able to unite because the way everything is going with these distractions and everything you never know where how far they take this so let me know in the comments how y'all feel about what i'm saying and one thing i want to give y'all a big shout out about is the last week when we talked about the racial divide i feel like i didn't really get that much trolls like it was a lot of love it was a lot of respect it was all you know there was a couple of people that were like you know saying like whoa certain clubs just don't let blacks in and it's racism and, you know i get that you know they were saying their point but it didn't get disrespectful it really did not get disrespectful and and that makes me proud to be part of a culture where people think like that like people could be grown men and look at shit from both sides and even if you you know me i'm well-rounded so i look at things from both sides i could look at the at the white side at the black side I, I could relate to anybody like i understand i don't just look at people and be like you know fuck how you feeling or whatever like i could see like how shit affects people you know i dealt with racism when i was younger i lived around some irish people that were like would say shit that was real racist or whatever about spanish people and, and you know it, it it's out there you know and it's a problem unfortunately but you know everybody has a right to their opinion you know and there's a lot of people on my side spanish side that don't like blacks or a lot of blacks that don't like spanish or a lot of blacks that don't like whites you know it's it, there's a lot of racial divide i always define a man on our interaction like however me and you talk and how we chop it up that's how i'm gonna judge you and i will never judge you off what somebody else tells me meet that person and then you come up with your own conclusion thank you for tuning in to demons road tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment no yeah we ghosting baby